It's time for Chapter 9, Server Stream Configuration. You know, you can take a stream from Zipstream software or hardware and send it out to multiple different types of servers. How do you do that? Let's find out. Once we have our audio processing and encoder and bitrate set, now we can choose to make one or more different stream types. The first stream type that I have here is simply for local confidence monitoring. I can listen on this PC or on other PCs on the LAN and go to the IP address of uh, this PC at port 8888 and I'll show you, here's where I set up uh, the stream resource ID, which becomes the mount point on this computer for this stream. Now we can make other kinds of streams as well. So let's take a look here. That stream type there is simply an HTTP server. And so I can use most any uh, client software to take a listen to it. But if I want to make a stream specifically formatted to send to an IceCast server, that's what I can do right there, or to a Shoutcast server, or to a Wowza server, or I can send to an RTMP server for Adobe Flash Media uh, and things like that. So there are your different choices, and each of the choices you bring up will bring up a different set of fields to fill in for that particular stream type. The details for any particular stream type, whether it's IceCast, Shoutcast, Wowza, or Adobe Flash, the details such as your mount point and your passwords and password for metadata, if that's necessary, those will be provided by your CDN, by the administrator of that server. So be sure you get that information. You'll need it to put into those fields so you can send that audio stream out.